Okay, so hopefully this works. This is my uh, iPad Mini 2, uh, which has been really slow um, since getting iOS 11. Um, so I thought I'd start afresh. Uh, it's been updated to the latest version. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm using a virtual home button because my home button doesn't work. Now this can be a bit of an issue um, and there's a little trick to how you can get it back up and running and turn assistive touch back on. Um, because when you restart an iPhone uh, or an iPad initially, it wants you to, to uh, press the home button to unlock. Well, if you haven't got a home button and obviously when you restore it, it turns that off. Uh, that can be an issue. So this is what you do. So let's just reset it. So general, reset, erase all content and settings, uh, erase now, I'm going to ask him for my password, and again, Okay, so the password. I think that's the right one. Okay, so we're restarted, and as you can see, it's saying press the home button to open. My home button doesn't work. Uh, An assistive touch isn't on. Uh, there's a serial number there. Apparently, if you turn it off and turn it on again, I think it might be a shutdown. Yeah, shut it down. And then switch it back on again. So just by pressing the power button there, pressing and holding. So now we get different options. So pick your language. Uh, so I'll set up manually. Can I skip choosing the network? No, I've got to choose the network. Ah, wrong password. <laughs> what is it? It's on my watch. Uh, okay, finally I get it right. Uh, don't know what I was doing there. Uh, so hit next, so this activates your iPad. Create a password, uh, passcode, don't create a passcode. Uh, so don't use passcode, uh, don't use passcode. So uh, set up as new iPad, you can restore it later. Um, but I'm gonna uh, I'll put in my Apple ID. Actually, let's not do that. Let's skip that. Has it got a skip option? Use different Apple ID. Don't Apple have an Apple ID. I forgot it. Set up later in settings. Let's see if that works. Don't use an Apple ID because I can always sign in afterwards. Agree to the conditions. Uh, continue. I'll share, I'm happy with that. Uh, access the dot rights is just telling you about it. Get started. Right, so now we can get into settings. So we can turn on uh, assistive touch. Uh, so go into settings, general and accessibility. Let's go. Uh, accessibility uh, and then assistive touch. Switch that on. You can also customize this menu, um, which is really cool. So obviously home button's there. Uh, Siri, well I suppose I would leave Siri on control device. This one's custom, so you can add something else to it. Uh, so if there was something you really wanted there, I think really, I probably don't need anything more. But you can also add that seven or eight icons. I think I used less, I think I used five or maybe even four. So device. What was the lock was a good one to add lock screen because that's how you can power it off as well uh, without holding uh, any buttons. Um, so what else have we got? Device notifications. 
control center. Right, let's leave it with that. So I guess that's that's done. So then let's press home. Oh, there you go. So lock screen. Oh, hold on. I've not got home on here. How do I manage that? Uh, so customize and let's change notifications. I don't need notifications. Uh, so home. That's better. Right, hit that and home device Siri control center lock screen. Um, so let's hit home. There we go. So now I've got my iPad set up uh, and I can use it with assistive touch. I can now add a passcode because this will stay on. Uh, but hopefully it will be faster because since I went to iOS 11, this iPad has just been a pain really. Uh, it's not been enjoyable to use. Um, and I've been testing out my mother-in-law's uh, iPad Mini 4 that we're giving her for Christmas. Hopefully she doesn't watch my YouTube channel. Um, well, she knows anyway. Uh, but uh, this has been much faster. Now it's got twice the RAM in it. Um, but I wondered if it was just because I did a very basic setup and didn't install the legacy of all the uh, restoring from cloud. Um, so hopefully uh, it should be faster. I mean, I even had times when I was typing which had really, really bad slowdown uh, and really struggled. So yeah, hopefully this this is gonna be better. Might as well go to my own channel, get another view. Do, do, do. Yeah, see that already feels snappier. Um, so I reckon that that's probably a good thing to have done. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, as I say, it's not it's not that obvious uh, how you can restart an iPad with an assistive, you know, with a faulty home button. Uh, but this means that you can do it and can start using it. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.